Ah, crap, here comes the waterworks. Coco is Pixar's latest animated movie and is based on the Mexican holiday, Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. So Coco takes place in Mexico and is about a 12-year-old boy named Miguel Rivera who comes from a family of shoemakers. Miguel has a passion for music and looks up to a well-renowned musician who passed away named Ernesto de la Cruz and aspires to be him. The only problem is that Miguel's family forbids him to be a musician, destroys his guitar, and forces him to join the family business and become a shoemaker. Rebelling against his family's wishes, Miguel sneaks out of the house on the night of Dia de los Muertos to play at a local talent show. Since he has no instrument, he decides to steal Ernesto de la Cruz's guitar from his grave so he can perform. And that's when Miguel finds himself waking up in the land of the dead and meeting his family members who had passed on and now has to figure out a way to return to the land of the living before sunrise. Otherwise, he'll be trapped in the afterlife forever. So what did I like about this movie? Well, firstly, this movie looks absolutely amazing. The attention to detail in the world they built here is incredible. Although I wouldn't claim to be an expert in Mexican traditions, the movie just looks very authentic and pays tribute to the Mexican culture. The colors in the streets, the decorations, the food, and even the mannerisms of the characters, especially those of the older characters, appear very authentic to the Mexican culture. Huh, I'm sure that if you were growing up in a Hispanic household, there are probably times where you're smacked upside the head with a shoe or slipper by your mother or grandmother if you were out of line. The world that they crafted for the Land of the Dead also looks absolutely incredible, and very creatively executed. It's unlike anything you would see in an animated movie, and the rules that they set up for this world can be downright morbid. I can see a lot of kids coming out of this movie asking their parents questions about the afterlife, and existence after death, that they just won't have any answers for. The characters also have a lot of depth to them and are very well realized. Miguel, who is voiced by Anthony Gonzalez, is a very lovable protagonist, and the character Hector is a pretty tragic and layered character that you would want to root for. The story is also very touching, and I dare you to go into this movie and try to come out without crying or even tearing up. The ending to this movie just had me all watery-eyed with snot running down my nose. Damn it, it's always the old lady that gets me. I also really like the music in the film. There's a lot of mariachi music with string guitars and it just suits the setting. And although the songs in this film aren't as memorable as the one in Moana, probably because most of them are in Spanish, I really enjoyed them in the movie, especially Remember Me. As for negatives, there aren't a lot of negatives I can point out in this movie. If I was reaching hard, I would say that the story was a little predictable, as I saw the ending coming pretty early in the movie, even with all the twists and turns. But even with that, it didn't ruin the enjoyment I had watching this movie. Just everything about this film has been so carefully crafted, from the characters, to the art design, to the music. It just showed how much love and passion was poured into this movie. They just put so much research into the culture, and it shows. Coco is definitely one of the best movies of the year, so I'm giving this a Happy Panda rating with the Golden Panda seal of approval. Was anyone else super bored during that Frozen Christmas special that played before Coco? All I kept thinking during that thing was, oh, just end already. So have you guys seen Coco yet? I know, this review is pretty late, so chances are that most of you have already seen it. So what'd you guys think of it? Leave a comment, tell me what you thought. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. It'll really help out the channel. Until next time, Panda out.